So, turns out that surface tension can do some pretty funky things. So here I'm just going to compare three different liquids with different surface tensions. The guy on the left here, that's acetone. It's basically nail varnish remover. The one in the middle is water, who is probably the most remarkable liquid here. And so just as one example, water, when it freezes, it actually expands. The practical upshot is ice floats in water, which is really important for life on Earth. But it's actually a peculiar property in that most liquids, when they freeze, they actually become denser, and so it sinks in its own liquid. And the one on the right is mercury, which is, of course, a metal, and it's also extremely dense, to the point where this mercury here is about 14 times denser than water. Iron will quite happily float in mercury. Now, in terms of surface tension, acetone has by far the lowest surface tension here. In fact, water has about three times the surface tension of acetone. Whereas, of course, mercury has a huge surface tension. Indeed, it's about seven times the surface tension of water. So, for starters, I'm going to film this with a high-speed camera at 10,000 frames per second. That's about 1 300th of normal speed. is all kind of cool. And so let's see how a single drop of each liquid makes an impact on its own surface. And see if you can spot the connection between surface tension and what happens next. And because it's just mesmerizingly beautiful, and because previously I got so many requests to post a full high-speed video of some of this fun stuff, I'm going to leave you with the full-screen high-speed video of a few drops of mercury being dropped onto liquid mercury. So while you should be advised that this does go on for about 10 minutes, some of it is nonetheless really cool.